Hey, so what's up? All right, so this is the start of the behind the scenes uh, video of, uh, yeah, my huge gig weekend <laughs> this weekend. So um, yeah, so I am starting to get my stuff ready for the uh, gigs uh, tomorrow night, the gig tomorrow night with uh, Wayward Companions, uh, the Whiskey Rebellion dinner. And so yeah, I'll let you uh, have a little look at uh, what I am doing over here. All right, so here are my outfits. You might have seen a couple of these in my costume closet tour, but I don't think I'll be wearing the hats though. This is an indoor gig, so uh, I might forgo those. But uh, but yeah, my shift, uh, my uh, lace uh, neckerchief or cravat, um, my 18th century shoes, American Duchess, uh, I have, I haven't decided which cap I'm going to wear, uh, but uh, my pockets and then I have this outfit that I'm wearing and these are just some hair accessories here so I can get that kind of big um, 18th century uh, look to uh, what I will be doing with um, my hair and all that lovely stuff. So yes, so yeah, oh, I haven't hung up those pictures yet. So I'm kind of uh, remodeling a little bit in here, redoing some stuff, rearranging some stuff. So that's why those are on the ground. So yeah, I know that doesn't look very nice, but but it will once they're hung up in their new place. So, all right. Oh yeah, but I may as well just show you. I have this really cool picture of um, Glastonbury over in England. Um, and I got, this is uh, actually from an old calendar, the, a 2018 calendar, uh, that, yeah, I am cutting out some of the uh, pictures and uh, framing them. So, uh, yeah, so it is uh, sacred Celtic sites. And, yeah. And this is a painting that my great grandmother did. So, yeah, I know that that has absolutely nothing to do with my gigs, but... I don't know if they were in sight, so I just thought I would tell you a little bit about it. All right, so, but yes, this is my costume. All right. Okay, so it is super, super early. Um, I teach a yoga class this morning, so I'm up kind of early, um, but having tea instead of uh, coffee this morning, um, so... Why not put my tea in my Henry VIII uh, Disappearing Wives mug? Alright, and I got some Lady Grey tea here. So, yeah, so that's um, how I am starting this morning. So, there you go. Also, firing this guy up. Uh, this is my uh, voice steamer and I do use this on a day of a gig. I use it uh, first thing in the morning and also at night after a gig just to kind of uh, warm my voice down. Um, there's warming your voice up and then there's warming your voice down and or doing a vocal cool down or you know just something you just it's, it's almost like the same as, you know, you do a warm up before you work out and then do a cool down after you work out. So, so yeah, I'm starting this guy up and yeah, you'll see me using this um, quite a bit this weekend. time to get suited up and then go meet my bandmates to carpool all right putting some more tea on while I get suited up a little bit more tea 
probably gonna do a little bit longer on um, my steamer as well my humidifier so yeah time to go get suited up exciting the look Just hitting this thing a couple more, just a couple more minutes before I leave to go meet uh, my other bandmates. So yes. settled in I am going to do my uh, first q and I was hoping to be able to do at least one at the uh, show but there just wasn't time so I'm doing it now and drinking my lukewarm water I'm gonna be using my little steamer here again in just a minute to kind of warm my voice down uh, but I'm going to answer a question for you guys first and uh, this one uh, was from Instagram and it asks, uh, what are my favorite um, modern artists? And, um, you know, even with modern artists, I tend to um, enjoy the more, I guess, um, ex obscure, at least obscure when it comes to like, you know, mainstream, you know, is it mainstream considered, would it, would it be considered mainstream or not? Um, I, t I do really very much enjoy, I like a lot of the European metal uh, bands like uh, Nightwish, Lacuna Coil, 
Um, I, I enjoy, um, you know, I, I like Dream Theater too. I, um, Symphony X, um, I do like a lot of those types of bands. Um, I also enjoy, uh, Lorena McKennett. Um, you know, she's a modern day artist, but she does a lot of like kind of earlier in world music too. I also enjoy the band Fawn. Uh, I, I really enjoy their stuff too. Um, but yeah, I tend to go more for the, uh, kind of like the European metal, um, you know, the, uh, Celtic folk. Um, and yeah, so that is the first question. All right. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow for the next part of the gig. All right, or the my gig weekend, whatever. All right. All right, so it is day two. Teaching a yoga class this morning, which is kind of a nice way to get centered on the day of a gig. All right, day two. I am about to get ready again and yeah going down to old St. Luke's here in a little bit okay and get this going again <laughs> all right all right so about to do it again I am headed down to old St. Luke's church and yeah a little tired from last night but you know but it's it's fun uh, but I'm definitely gonna be uh, sleeping well tonight, I think. But um, all right, so I'm gonna get on the road here. I'll, uh, yeah, see you there. All right, so just a quick video here. All right, this is where I'm being kept, if you will. <laughs> inside um, Old St. Luke's. Um, yeah, I, this is where I'm going to be warming up and just kind of getting myself together before going to sing. And I am super excited. Um, yeah, I sing at three o'clock. So amazing grace. And yeah, so I'm going to drink my tea and warm up here. <laughs> A warm up. Okay, so uh, since I do have uh, some time taking a little break from warming up and just doing any uh, breathing meditation uh, before I go up, I'm going to answer another question, another Q&A. So uh, this is a Facebook question. I got asked if I would ever do like an acoustic set. Absolutely. In fact, I've done acoustic sets before um, and I'm always open to collaborating uh, with other artists and it's always great fun, um, especially if we're within like the same vein of each other. We don't have to be the exact same genre, but it's good to be within the same vein, you know, just to keep things consistent. All right. So I'm going to get back to warming up and meditative breathing before I go up and perform Amazing Grace. All right. I didn't notice the seashells there before. Oh, look at that. Yes, Daniel South, 1747 to 1811. Yes, rest easy, sir. <laughs>
right. Shutting down the organ. All right. Oh, there you go. Hey, you know, hey, it, it's it's safe, you know, safe, effective. That's what we want. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And smartly, when they rebuilt this organ back in the early 80s, yeah. they put a timer, well, actually, it's been since I've been here. Right. A timer on the uh -huh. uh, organ. If somebody forgets to turn it off, oh. the blower will automatically shut off. Okay. I set it for five hours. I no oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. That. <laughs> so, old St. Luke's is tempting me with these coffee mugs. Coffee mugs are a weakness of mine. That's the last thing I need is another coffee mug, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I might have to grab one. Okay, my friends, I got my old St. Luke's coffee mug. And yeah, it was uh, gifted to me by one of the event coordinators. So I'm very appreciative of that. But yeah, it got me an old St. Luke's mug. I might use it tomorrow. All right. Oh, well, it was a really great event. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into a little bit more um, after I get home and get changed. Um, but yeah, really good event. So... All right. Yeah. Like I said, I'll go into more detail. Let's do another Q&A. All right. Oh, yeah. See you when I get home. Okay. So a little later than intended uh, getting in this last Q&A. Um, but here goes. Uh, this one is from Instagram. And the question is, how do you prepare for a gig? Um... Honestly, it kind of depends what all I have going on that day, but I do try to uh, do a few things like obviously warm up my voice um, and it doesn't matter whether I'm doing a rock show or a more like classical um, oriented show. I use my vocal steamer. Um, I try to meditate, maybe do a light workout if there's time. Uh, just try to center myself just so that I can do, um, you know, just give the best show I can so yeah but um, I am in the process of editing uh, the uh, video for the behind the scenes video but just continuing um, I am in the process of editing the behind the scenes video which I'm really really excited to uh, put out to you um, running into a little bit of issues uh but i am going to i am figuring something else out so even i hopefully will still get it to you tomorrow as promised um but uh worst case scenario it'll be wednesday night at the absolute latest because i am very determined to get this out but i do hope uh because this is also going to be in the behind the scenes video too so i do hope you enjoyed um all the footage all the videos um all the just the q a's everything um for like just everything that went on this weekend so yeah hope you enjoyed everything and i will yeah catch you in the next video all right bye